Yo, what is up? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yo, what is up? Oh, we are returning to the artillery only challenge. Rocking out with the Topol M's. So a quick check of the front got us almost done with the UK. Heading into Spain, we got all our bros in through here, heading to North Africa to take on a decent amount of spam. Continuing to clear out the Middle East, a little bit of India left. We got our bros heading into Southeast Asia and the Philippines. Got Stalin and Avatutin headed to take on some spam in South America. And then we got our North American front about, I'd say, halfway done. So let's go ahead and get this going here. Continue our drive. Again, let me turn this down. I always forget to turn it down. Well, that was easy enough. Pull these bros out. Oh, what do we got here? We got the uh, Atlantic Wall. And a secondary Stalin. I can't remember which one was the clone. We had an original Stalin and a clone Stalin. I have since forgotten where the original one was. I think this was the original one. I think the one out in the Pacific is the, the fake Stalin. There we go. And uh, like we were speaking about, or at least I was speaking about it, the multi-functional topol amps are as good at sea as they are on land. There is truly nothing that the topol M cannot do. All right, get this North African invasion force rolling out. We have plenty of units. I think I'll leave Konev here to wreck them from afar for a while. Should be it for Israel. A oh, boom! Israel goes down. No more Israeli aggression. That has just been ended. My eye is burning. Why is my eye burning? My eye is on fire. Look, the, the Topolium is so easy to control, one can do it with one eye. You do not even need depth perception. Topolium, most advanced piece of military hardware the world has ever seen and will ever see. I'm convinced of that now.
We had to start backing up our generals here. If you recall. We ran into a little bit more spam than we were ready for down here. And Timoshenko can still not reach Bangkok. What a bitter disappointment Timoshenko is. Always disappointing me. Timoshenko is... I'm going to say the Bradley of the Soviet Army. It doesn't matter where he goes. He's just always getting his ass kicked. Damn, these rounds are taking, taking a decent amount of time now. But look at that income we're getting, bros. We're almost getting max resources each round. It just took a while to get the Topol army built up. With such an ass-kicking magnitude. We made it, bro! Our Mexican bros, we are saving you. There we go. Nice. All right, bros, around 22. And what I had anticipated on, oh, boom, the UK goes down early on was having to send these bros from this UK front to the US, but obviously I'm not going to have to do that. Because the US just decided not to defend at all. So now I don't gotta worry about it. Oh, look at the spam coming out. Decided to finally push, huh? They're probably just like, okay, these guys do not have a navy. So, yeah, we can make it across the Mediterranean easy, no problem. They did not get the message. About the versatility of the dildo launcher. There's literally nothing that the dildo launcher cannot accomplish. This little bit of spam North Africa has is not going to last long. It's already starting to take a hurt and Oh boom 
Roma France was going down. I almost said right before that this could be the end of France. But I didn't. And now I'm not as cool as I would have been if I would have said that. Alright, that bro is going to get his land on. Boom! Qatar goes down. We can start hammering Eastern Africa. All right, Timoshenko, do not let me down again. Do you think you can move that one spot? Oh, he did it. How amazing. And the Chinese stole my city. That I was trying to take. I pretty much knew that was coming. How is the South American spam getting beefier, getting thicker, beef thickier, I believe is what you would call that. It's a very much beef thickier. Ooh, right in here. Nice. That is until my bros rolled in. The beef thickierness is not gonna last very long. All right, the US is about out of there. Round 23. And the Irish are about to get wrecked. Well, I guess these guys are done for the most part. Their war is over. These bros war is continuing. Some of these bros have been around since the beginning. Like these bros would have seen a battle coming out of Russia. They have seen some major shit in their time. I mean, these, these guys are battle-hardened units. Let the dildos rain down on Africa. The 
Yeah, I think they're they're starting to realize they made a mistake. It's just an the the numbers are overwhelming. I mean, sure, you might take out one dildo, maybe two. But there's another hundred behind that. Oh! First troop to land! First troop to bless the dildos down in Africa. Well, we might as well get these bros rolling out. I was just going to sit there and wreck East Africa, but then... Rethinking that. I could be invading it as well. I was going to wreck it and let the bros from the north come in. But this is going to save us some time. Oh, boom! Up. Pakistan goes down. Let's see if Team Inchinko can't take Kuala Lumpur for us. Oh, I missed that shot. Nice. He redeemed himself. And I stole my city back. I shouldn't say stole it back, it was mine to begin with. So there was no stealing. It was just taking what was rightfully mine. And these bros are taking so long that I'm going to be through South America by the time they ever show up. Oh, we're getting into the good stuff. There's nothing more rewarding than pulling up in a bunch of dildo launchers and just watching the spam melt. The beautiful sight. Round 24. Let's do this round and then wrap this up. That will leave us with just one more round left. To end the Dildo Launcher Challenge. It has been a great challenge. Let's melt this spam here. Oh yeah, we are going to get a... a nice meltage. This is going to be global warming type of meltage.
And we have landed in a new spot. And boom! Tunisia is out of there taking our first major city. Now that's going to open up the floodgates for these landings. We got a lot of bros that are pretty much just out of the war. The front has moved so fast. So yeah, our next episode probably is not going to be too long. To zoom out and take a look at what the African spam looks like now. That range doe, look at that. Blasting Addis Ababa from Amman, Jordan. You could never do that in a dong fin, I bet. Dave, can this bro hit anything? No. He is out of range. China took that. I'm alright with that. I had other things to do anyways. Oh, boom! A Singapore goes down. Just land these guys up here, I guess. We can start getting... Start hammering the islands. Sub spam. We're going hard on the sub. Oh, boom! A Panama goes down. Cherry hit on Washington. And there we are, bros. Canada and the U.S. are almost out of this. Our main obstacle is now just taking South America because the spam in Africa is all but gone. The Middle East has fallen. Southeast Asia under the gun. All right, bros, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Do not forget to hit the bell on the way out. Get the notifications turned on. Slap the like and subscribe and I'll be back here for the next upload of Peace Brumanati. Out. Ooh.